All right, so when I'm in a rush, I start with the concealer. All right, so the concealer that I'm gonna be using now, it's summertime right now. I like to use the Creamy Concealer from NARS and the color that I'm using is Macadamia. Also, I already did my brows, I mean 70%, and I hydrated my skin. Obviously, I cleaned it before, so now my face is ready. I'm also putting a little bit of lip balm, so my lips are ready when you know it's the time for the lip. So I'm gonna start applying my cream concealer and just my lips, because I'm gonna start with my eyes. This is what I like to do. And I'm gonna grab my mini base from Sunday. I'm just gonna start buffing it and work it just on the lid and a little bit underneath. Whatever I have left, I'm gonna bring it down and here, which are the areas that are more difficult to put the foundation later on. Okay, so here is the palette. I pretty much love the packaging, by the way. So here it is, and I'm going to use the number seven just to set my eyes, all right? And with my detail pro, I'm gonna grab the number seven, like I said, and I'm just gonna work it on my lips and actually I'm gonna go a little bit both too so my brows are also nice and set with my Barbarella brown pencil I'm just gonna define my eyes I'm gonna fast forward this far so you know what I'm doing but you if you want to check my technique you can check the other video too I already worked this side, so I'm gonna do the other one. I'm gonna turn around. I'm just gonna follow the line like that. And then I'm gonna have my paper ready and I'm just gonna continue smudging the eyeliner. So my eyes are defined. Let me talk about more about this palette. I already had the previous palette and what I like about this one is that it comes now with this powder um, as you can see it's well loved and I know many people love it too so to have it here in the palette it's a great advantage so you don't have to bring the other one um, especially if you're traveling and also if you want to put this in your purse I mean it takes less space and I love that fact it has three colors one, it will be your kind of highlighting shade for your eyes. The other one will be kind of like your contour shade per se. And then you have this glittery formula that is kind of like the pop shade that I showed you in the previous video, which I think is well-rounded, especially if you just want to have everything in one place. I think this is great. Also brings you this blush and a highlighter. So we'll see if everything works on my skin tone. Right now, I'm a little bit tan. That's why I picked this color. This is the Glowing Beauty because there is another one that is a little bit lighter. But I thought this one would work for my skin tone. As I explained before, I already defined my eyes. This is something that I love to do. Sorry, that's Rima. Um, I'm gonna start with number one and this is my Sonia G Jumbo Blender. And I'm going to apply it all over the lid just like that and I'm going to break a little bit up because this color is so beautiful all right so on my ref for number 12 um, I'm just gonna grab the deeper color the number three and I'm just gonna go underneath my eye this is going to really define the lower part like that now this looks weird so I'm gonna bring this color on this part with my blender pro from Sione G I'm just gonna dip on the number three again this one over here the number three and I'm just going to define my crease this part just following the end of my eyeliner that I did previously I'm just gonna place the majority of color right there 
I'm just gonna go like this and then back and forth right like that so now it looks more balanced I'm gonna do the same thing for the other in my blender pro I'm gonna follow the end of my eyeliner and I'm gonna place the majority of color right there again and so I'm gonna move to the inner part of my eye and then I can just go back and forth like this and basically that's it if you want to add a little bit of color you can add a little bit of the blush and just dab a little bit and just continue working it right there so it looks more rosy if you want to but it's very subtle i think this is so pretty and so delicate and it's work appropriate if you're running some errands too because you want to look natural i'm gonna keep it like this because this is kind of like the daily look okay so we're gonna take a break from the palette because now i'm gonna start prepping my face so i'm gonna do the same trick that i show you in my previous video again i'm gonna work on cleaning my eyeshadow so i'm gonna add a little bit of concealer right there and i'm gonna take studio pro from bh cosmetics number five and basically it's a blender brush and i'm just gonna work the product until it's fully gone i'm just gonna work it all the product is in here so i'm gonna start here because i want the majority of product to be here and then a little by little i'm gonna start going upwards and then cleaning my eye if I feel like I have a lot of product, I just bring it down and I start cleaning whatever I think it needs to be clean, like this area, because I already did my brows. And it's going to be harder to reach there with a bigger brush. I don't like to put a lot on my nose. I think it looks more natural. I don't need to put too much. And I'm just going to work it with my fingers too because the heat of my body melts the makeup and you know it blends better with your skin right, so i'm going to start applying concealer on the rest of my face i don't need that much this is a nice trick you just put a little bit here and a little bit here whatever you have in the dough for basically and then i'm just gonna grab my sonia g face one all right, so let's bring back the palette. We're gonna start using this part, right? This part. So I like to set a little bit my face. If you are more oily than me, you probably might need more setting. So I think it's personal preference. Some people, they like more dewy and glowy look. And some other people, they like more matte. I tend towards more glowy and more like dewy and fresh. So that's why I'm not gonna apply the powder all over my face. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the number 7 and with my Sonia G Mini Chick, I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes but I don't want, for instance, this area to be so glowy so I'm going to put a little bit of powder there but I don't like this area to be so glowy because then it looks like I'm sweating <laughs> so I'm just going to apply the powder just in case I'm going to sit right here because here's where I'm going to start applying the bronzer all right so I'm just gonna grab this brush from Wayne Goss um, you can grab any brush that you have if you have the refer number five or I'm using this one so I'm gonna grab a little bit and as you can see it's, it's picking up a lot of products so I'm kind of kind of scared so I'm just gonna <laughs> dab a little bit on the back of my hand this usually helps to remove the excess and I'm gonna start bronzing basically you're gonna create like a imaginary line that starts from the top of your ear and it's gonna go to the end of your mouth and you are gonna apply bronzer like if I have a, a ruler right here you're gonna try to apply bronzer somewhere above the line because when you are like buffing it it's gonna go down a little bit and if you put it right here where the line is 
you will end up with bronzer probably up to here and so it's not gonna look so flattering. You wanna bring things up. So I'm gonna start play right here. This is very nice. Just gonna play a little bit more. Sometimes I like to bring my bronzer all the way to the front. It's really nice. And I'm gonna bring it here. You see the middle of my eye? Right here, so somewhere around there. Now, if that's not easier for you, just suck your lips. And you're gonna see this line that is creating your own lips, right? Don't put the bronzer right there. That's my tip. Put your bronzer a little bit above that line. So when you're blending it, it's gonna end up in that area. I'm just gonna dab again on the number, what is it called, number six? Just gonna dab again and on the back of my hand to remove any excess. Um, this is the Cheek Pro from Synergy. And I'm just gonna start applying. Ooh. Now, I like to bring my, my blush a little bit here in the nose because I feel like it looks more natural because when you get the sunburn, I don't know about you, but I do get the redness here. So I'm kinda trying to imitate that, especially if we're in summertime. So I like to bring it right here. I'm gonna touch some areas here on the tip of my nose. And then I'm just gonna create like another line here. This is gonna make my nose to look more, I don't know, rounder here and lift it a little bit. Maybe it's my idea, I don't know if you see it. Then whatever I have left from the bronzer, I'm just gonna bring it up. Just go back to your powder brush. I'm just gonna go like this. The more you blend your lines, the more seamless your makeup is gonna look. So I'm gonna use now the number five, which is a highlighter. Um, if you're lighter skin than me, probably this highlighter you wanna use it as a blush topper. If you're like probably my skin tone or deeper, you can use it actually like a true highlighter, right? So. I'm gonna see how it looks on my skin. And I'm gonna place it here. Oh, it's nice. It's blending with my skin tone. I'm gonna apply in the areas that I feel like it's more flatter for my face. And I think it will be flatter for you too. I'm using the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. And probably I'm gonna apply three or four more layers, maybe for a daytime look. You don't need too many layers. I'm just gonna apply one more layer. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be brushing up my brows. For lips, you just wanna keep it like natural and simple. Uh, I'm just gonna use the lip liner on Pillow Talk. I'm gonna remove the balm that I placed in the very beginning. So now my lips feel hydrated. This is a nice tip. Always do it before everything so your lips are ready. Like this itself, it looks nice. But I'm gonna pair it with the Glowing Gen lipstick. And I'm just gonna dab it like this. Put my finger even melt the more on my own lips. All right, so this is the daytime look. I think it looks pretty nice. It looks simple, put together, and yeah, I like it. So let's say you're done uh, working or you're done with your errands but you need to meet your friends and you don't have that much time. So you pull your palette and you try to figure out what to do in your makeup to make it look fresh. First of all, when you use that less of a makeup like I did, it's very easy to refresh it. What I like to do is either press because sometimes your concealer moves and 
you don't need to apply more you just need to like press it with your fingers so press press you can always press it with your fingers like this once you press everything you're gonna start adding more so usually after six seven eight hours um, the concealers have a little bit gone so you can always reapply it. and I'm going to reapply it just so you can see that it's not gonna mess my makeup um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of here I'm just gonna work it on my brush and I'm gonna go over the areas that I think it needs help okay this is the Jumbo blender from Sonia Yi and I'm gonna grab the number three and I'm gonna put it now all over my lid so this is gonna make my, my makeup even deeper but I'm not touching the inner part just so you know I'm just adding the darker color all over and right away you can tell that my look looks more smoky I'm not touching the inner part though with the same brush that I used before refer number 12 I'm gonna go underneath and you know what I'm gonna go a little bit lower so it looks a little bit more smoky now please notice that I'm not touching this area this inner part I'm putting all the color all over actually I can use this brush too to place it all over and then I'm connecting here I'm gonna look on that side look at like this in the mirror and I'm gonna follow the line so everything looks more connected I'm gonna do the same thing with this side That. I'm gonna grab my blender girl and I'm just gonna diffuse more of this I'm gonna finally use this color over here which is a number two and it has this glittery formula you can do it with your finger you see and I'm gonna place it right in the middle so I want to create the light here usually when you're in a restaurant or if you're in a bar they have those candlelight and for some reason candlelight makes this type of shadows to stand out more I'm going to deepen my eyeliner if you like you can do like a liquid eyeliner too so let me do a liquid eyeliner so you can see the dramatic change so I actually did my eyeliner I use the rare beauty it's gonna be easier for you to do it because you already have the line from the other eyeliner that you did previously so believe it or not that helps when you're trying to do like liquid eyeliner that's always my technique too I always just start with the pencil and then if I want to intensify it or I want to use a liquid eyeliner then I use it over it because now I know exactly where to put it that's a nice trick this is the Wayne Goss number two and I'm just gonna intensify the color I don't need to go farther than that I just want this to be very defined this at night time it looks so pretty my jawline too I'm gonna define it a little bit more we are talking about like if you're going out right like in a restaurant or bar or club even so now again i'm going to intensify my cheeks so remember i put the bronzer right here i like to put the blush right here i think it looks more useful also it gives you that lifted effect i don't know if you can see it like look at this cheek down and look at this cheek up here I like to apply here when I go out and now the highlighter if you are lighter skin tone than me you could probably use the eyeshadow wand as a highlighter I was looking at it and it's a nice pinkish lighter color in fact I'm gonna use it right now Wingos brush this is the smallest one and 
I'm gonna dab a little bit here and let's see yeah if you like that type of highlighting the number one is gonna look good on you yeah definitely definitely beaming wow this is pretty all right i'm gonna powder okay so this is probably my third fourth layer of mascara i want a more intense i want my lashes to stand out also if you like fake eyelashes this is the time that you can wear them if you were to go to a wedding or somewhere like a special occasion this makeup could be also the makeup for that time i'm gonna make sure that my eyebrows are brushed up because that's the, the look that i like if you like more straight you can do that but this is the time that you're gonna intensify everything so you look more put together for night now uh let me do my lipstick i'm just gonna line my lips i'm using the pillow talk this one it's patsy red and this is a very nice color very bright so let's try how it looks and this is your look for night time I think I like the lipstick. You can actually pick another color of lipstick. I mean, this whole makeup is very kind of neutral, so it allows you to play with different colors. You can go more orangey. You can do more not so bright because maybe some people don't like it bright. Um, you can do red, like fire red. So this is the final look. Okay, so what I think about this makeup or about this palette, I think this is a great buy. I would definitely gift it to someone that I love. I think the color story is super beautiful, it's very neutral, allows you to play uh, with different type of lip colors, which it's a plus for me because sometimes the whole look can be changed because you change the color of your lips. Again, this color, it goes really nice, but if you're not into bright colors, you can use more like an orangey or more like a pink light pink or even brown I think it would look so pretty I think this palette is well rounded I mean you have everything that you need I love the fact that they put the setting powder here it's nice to have it all together here Charlotte Tilbury you need it <laughs> again I'm gonna compare the other palettes and I'll do some swatches so you can see if, if the colors are pretty similar okay so we're seeing the gorgeous glow in beauty the new one and on the right side the stone rose beauty these are the three latest charlotte Tilbury palettes regarding bronzer on my left i have the gorgeous glowing beauty in the middle again the look of love and on my right side the more peachy this one over here is the stone rose and those are the bronzers So these are the highlighters on my left side. You can see the, on top is number seven, this one over here, and this one. And then I have the highlighter for the look of love, which is a new one. And then on my right side, which is this one, I have the highlighter from Stone Rose highlighters and these are the blushes on my left side this one is the gorgeous glowing beauty on the middle one is the look of love and on my right side is the stone rose so 
and the stone rose because it has two blushes that's why I did it like that on the gorgeous glowing beauty I didn't do this one because this is more like a highlighter so there you go and here is the seductive beauty the look of love the new one and the beauty glow this one sorry cracked a little bit so as you can see the bronzers are not really that similar in these two so here are the bronzers on the left we have seductive beauty which is deeper i think then we have the look of love and then this one that you barely see is the one from the beauty glow so the three of them look completely different yep these are the highlighters on my left side we have the seductive beauty the middle the new one look of love and on my right side we have the beauty glow palette and these are the blushes on my left side we have the number five and six from the seductive beauty on the middle the new one look of love uh, on my right side we have the beauty glow there you go thank you for watching